Hi, I'd like to talk about TV films and comics, and today we're going to talk about the Marvel Masters of Suspense Omnibus. The Marvel Masters of Suspense Omnibus is a collection just shy of 700 pages long of sort of old-fashioned Marvel comics. Uh, this is before Spider-Man and all the superheroes came to prevalence. Um, it, to be honest, I bought it because it was £35 and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. I see some comic book history. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised with what I bought. I wouldn't have wanted to pay uh, like £50 or up for this, but at about £35, I was quite happy. And what you get is a very well put together um, omnibus that it's got sewn binding so it reads absolutely flat um, it's got lovely print quality the pages aren't the thickest uh, but they're certainly not cheap and flimsy um, it's got a nice cover underneath the dust jacket and you get a nice set of contents pages on omnibuses I am quite a sucker for contents pages uh, I think there's no reason to not include them regardless of what the omnibus collects because everyone likes to have a little contents page so they can flip through and see what they've got um, what you get with these stories is a collection of sort of weird and wonderful sci-fi horror adventure tales that have a three to four page length um, they have a setup line usually at the start going like Dave Smith was driving home from work one day when he saw something he will never forget and then you straight into the story um, it's something really that I think a lot of filmmakers and TV makers could learn from today that you don't need all this unnecessary preamble just a little setup boom straight into the story and you get this sort of very well written um, sometimes predictable um, story that either has a moral or a sci-fi or horror twist on the end of it and it's wrapped up by the end uh, sometimes they go where you think they're going sometimes they don't um, quite often they involve aliens um, quite often they seem to repeat themselves um, but I think that's the problem when you get an omnibus like this of these short stories is uh, when they originally came out people would have weeks or months in between reading them and therefore they sort of wouldn't notice that there was some repetition. But when you're sort of going through an omnibus you do pick up on that. Um, and that is why if you're going to get this omnibus it is best to read it <coughs> in sections. So give it like 30 pages at a time put it down, read something else, uh, then read it another day, 30 or 40 pages at a time. And then you don't get sort of um, exhausted from uh, the continual stories and some of the themes or artwork getting a little bit repetitive. Um, I would recommend it to anyone that is interested in sort of a, a nice Mar Marvel omnibus for their collection or just older comic books and wants to have a sort of sampling of what comics were like before they were just populated solely by superheroes um, for Marvel. Um, certainly a nice one to have in the collection. I don't know that I'll buy volume two, to be honest. I think I've got enough in here. I also got the DC, just looking at it in front of me on the shelf, the DC House of Mystery um, volume one, which sort of covers that off for me as well. The only thing I might be tempted to buy is either a Solomon Kane omnibus or the um, Marvel Horror omnibus, but that's just way overpriced at the moment for what I'm looking for. If it drops, I'll get it. Um, let me know what you think about these massive suspense stories. Do you think they're totally outdated, um, not worth the time reading, or do you think they've got a place in a collection? I think they've got a place in a collection. I don't think they'll light everyone's sort of fire, but I think they're certainly worth reading and experiencing if you're a comics fan, and certainly if you're a collected edition collector. Um, Please give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.